Hello friends, good morning all, how are you? Me too, thank you. Hey, you remember your last EVS classroom? Good. What were your assignments? Yeah. Yes, good, wonderful. You know, you have sent me a number of assignments, um, especially uh, the drawing of the fish and uh, the observation notes and all. Okay. So, friends, uh, today, we firstly, we will conclude our observational note. You know, fish adaptations in water, which, which you have done. After the class conclusion, I will bring you a wonderful review of the Environment Day celebration, which we done. Okay, so friends, uh, it is uh, really, I am really excited to show you the things, you know, um, while we, in our native people, Kalandata, and men, what we had done in our surroundings, uh, our, our native place, uh, you know, then not only that, what you have done in, at your home. So uh, we are sharing to each one of you uh, uh, by our, our effort what we have done already in the, in the time of environment day. Uh, not only our speech and posters, uh, that is not enough. What I mean is that we have to be practice what we learn, you know, otherwise learning will be a, a, a simple malfunction, you know, it will be waste. So not only, not only um, talk and not only uh, writings, that is not enough. What I mean is that I, once again, I underline and tell you that we have to be practice. Okay, how how care our environment we have to be practice? How we have to we have to make our deeds uh, in our surroundings? How we want to care our surroundings? We have to be practical. Okay, so I'm very happy to share that video. Then after that we will have another module. Okay, friends, that's all today. So once again, I warm welcome you to this classroom. So firstly, we will move to the conclusion part. Uh, before that, I, 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 I want to congratulate each one of you who those uh, submitted their assignments to me through WhatsApp. Okay, so I'm very happy to see and um, to to see your assignments, uh, you know, most of you have done your work very uh, wonderfully. A good job it was. So I congratulate everyone. Not only that, we are going to conclude the observational note of fish adaptations in water. Let's start. Look at the picture. Basic parts of the fish. Fins, gills, eyes, right, so that's all, then the conclusional part, okay. Two students told that in their assignments, a uh, fish body like as a boat, that's right, right, yeah, it is body as a sharp as a boat, it is interesting. And fins are suitable for moving. You know, fins are helps to move. Then gills help to breathing. We don't have gills, right? Yeah, fish have. Fish has gills, so they can. Gills help to breathing. Then the body, uh, you know, lubricated body it is. Fish body, lubricated body helps to move very fastly. So these four are the basics uh, only we needed now. So we will learn more about fish and everything in higher classes. Okay, so four things. First one, body as sharp as a board. Second, fins are suitable for moving. Third, gills help to breathing. The fourth one, lubricated body helps to move. 
fastly yes what we learned today yes these are the these are the adaptations of a fish in water so friends write down these points in your evs diary right now okay good Hi good morning friend once again warm welcome to everyone to this edu chemin channel so today you know this is our land from malappuram kalamdatta uh, this land we are uh, plan to uh, clean our surroundings the part of environment there so be safe and protect ourselves and uh, protect others okay so this is our land all uh, native uh, men and neighbors uh, we are uh, here uh, to clean to purpose the part of environment there so this is really Uh, very excited and very interesting and you know mr manika one of the famous and viewers with us so is a part of cleaning and viewment of cleaning now on active and calm that uh, you know he is uh, carrying a frog while we need ill id karalu rappulla keralu
മലയാളമൊന്നായി നിന്നിടും പാറിടും ശലഭമായി മാറിടും പുതുലോകമായി I will ask you something you have to answer me okay you know we have to be practical right what we concluded today's first do you remember ah oh, yes that's about fish okay you know where the fish lives yeah water that's right can you tell me some other animals uh, which are living in water Yeah good 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 that's right answer so where is uh, lion living in water huh, no yes yes land land that's right okay so where is frog living water water land land yes water and land both you know frog can lives Uh, in water and land okay so some animals are there like they can live in both okay what yeah she is telling that were birds living <laughs> that's a, a wonderful question were birds living water okay no water land yeah sometimes right they are landing why landing on the land 
at the time. Otherwise, yeah, they are flying uh, in the sky. They are flying. Okay, good, good question. Okay, so today I wish to give you some worksheets. Uh, so you have to complete it right now. Okay, ready? Oh, that's good. Appreciate all. Oh. So friends, this is the first worksheet. Where do animals live? Okay, we know that air, land, water. The three are animals living, including us. And worksheet two, animals which live both land and water. Okay, so these two worksheet you have to complete on your EVS diary, which means EVS notebook. Okay. So friends, that's all today. So don't forget your assignment. Uh, see you.